Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the Cadex Polar Camera and for the most part I'm going to be comparing it to the Nebula Nano V2 here on the right side. So as you can see with the spec here, it's double the weight. It's got a glass lens as opposed to the plastic lens. It's 19 by 19 and the other one is 14 by 14. You've got the DJI camera there as well. But you also have the really low lux for night mode. Little screenshot comparison, got the Nebula Nano V2 on the left and the Polar on the right. So we've got our first video clip here, which is the Nebula Nano V2. So I'm going to be doing the comparison videos in a similar lighting conditions, same park. So look out for some of the colors, the saturation of the colors, the resolution. Obviously we know the polar is going to be better and you're going to see that in a second but just to get a good comparison is nice. Excuse the black kind of canopy looking thing there. So moving on to the polar now. You can instantly see the colors look better, the clouds, the sky. The dynamic range is visibly better and it's just so much more joy to actually being able to fly with this type of resolution. For the water, the water looks completely different. There's not much oversaturated colors. So we've got a foresty clip here. I wanted to do something with kind of medium level light rather than too low or too high. The resolution isn't that great because of the low signal due to all the trees and everything being surrounding here. But as you can see, it does a great job, quite comfortably can fly around the trees and branches. So moving on to the very dark one, we've got a pitch black field here as you can see. This is kind of what I actually look like being here with eyes rather than cameras. As you can see, I just can't venture any further. Don't really have much range. You can see the clouds and the really lit up places, but not much more than that. Wouldn't be comfortable going any further. Remember the two cameras are both stuck at 16 by nine. You don't have four by three like the Pro and the DJI camera. So we've got the Polar camera now. As you can see, even with this type of darkness, it's 100 times better. You can see the green, you can see the blue, you can see details in the grass. I would comfortably fly in this type of situation. Not that I would choose to, obviously this is not made to be flying in a pitch black situation but in low light situations, it's gonna drastically help. So again, as I mentioned before, it does have some of the flaws of the Nebula Nano in terms of the aspect ratio and the slightly higher latency. But you know, if that's not really an issue for you, then the resolution alone and the clarity that it gives you is just so worth it. So with all the chip shortages going on now, not being able to get the other cameras, I think this is going to be really your best bet to get. And as you can see, all the manufacturers have already switched over to this from the Nebula Nano V2. So here we're coming up to a, like a low light situation. You can see instantly the noise becomes much less and it's super clear. I would gladly fly in this type of situation as well. Hopefully my comparison has helped you to make up your mind and get to see what it's like. If you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please like and subscribe to my channel as it really helps. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon.